I have some great news. We're starting to see an increase in new listings coming on the market, and it's pretty typical around this time of year. I mean, many homeowners have decided that it's time to move. They feel it's a great time to do so. So if you are a homeowner and you're looking to sell your home, but you're having a difficult time trying to figure out where to start, what to do, how to get my house prepared, then my home action selling plan is what you might need to get you on the right path. So the action plan is part of our marketing plan. I broke it up into six critical parts that, are, that I'll be covering in the next few minutes. Until then, I'll see you in a minute. So number one, you wanna analyze why are you selling? If you understand your motive for selling, then you'll be able to better negotiate for what you want and the price that you want. So it might be a quick sale or you wanna move on to your next property very soon. It might be that you wanna set the price high so you can get more money. Just know that there are different ways to market your property for each of these strategies. So number two, you want to prepare your home for the buyer. Now this depends on if you want to sell it as is or you want to get top dollar for it. So if you're selling it for top dollar, then you may want to maximize the strengths of the property. You want to do some fixing up. You want to address those weaknesses. This is for the both interior and exterior maintenance and repairs. So you want your buyer to walk away from your home knowing that it was a great home and you want to leave a great lasting impression. So give them something to smile about. So number three, you want to find a good real estate agent, someone who understands your needs, someone that can represent you, who's loyal, who's honest, and can negotiate on your behalf to help you achieve your goals. So in addition to that, they should be assertive and honest to both you and the buyer. You want a peace of mind knowing that your agent has your best interest at heart and not their own. So number four, be prepared to negotiate because all offers are negotiable. You want to learn and understand the buyer's situation. What do they really want? Can you demand a larger deposit from them? Can you request a fine closing? Can you negotiate repairs and inspections? Knowing these things up front can save you so much time and money, and that's what it boils down to, right? So number five, you want to negotiate for the best price and the best terms. Learn how to counter offer to get the maximum value of every offer. Some people will accept the first offer that they get. Some will hold out for the best deal. But what's important is to know what you want and stay firm to it. So once you start to waver a little bit, you lose your negotiation power. So finally, number six, make sure that the contract is accurate and complete. Any documents you complete, make sure you're honest. You do not want to lose the deal because you didn't list probably some of the home defects or other latent defects. Insist that the buyer get a professional home inspection. No matter if you're selling it as is or not, they should have a home inspection. This will protect you and the buyer. So there you have it. These six steps is the plan of action to assist you in getting started. We have a full marketing plan that we would like to share with you so you can be well informed and make the most important decision when you're selling your home. My name is Denise Watkins. I am with the Watkins Team RE. I enjoy sharing this information. If you're ready to take the next step, call me, schedule an appointment. There's a link at the page below. As always, I like connecting with you. I like providing this information. Again, please like, comment, share. Until then, I will see you next week.